hey guys what's up mps ready here and welcome back to another exciting breakdown or a cool tip and this is not a joke seriously i used chat gpt to get an extra help in my 3d workflow so this is not about getting idea creative concept or storyboard it is something else so be stick till the end of the video because this video is not be a longer video so let let me show you what i mean so recently i made a couple of videos related to IPL which is Indian Premier League it's a cricket game so I did a couple of videos on this topic so the one idea which I worked on where I created a jersey moving on so let me show you the project so you can see this is the video where I did you know jersey moving on if I'll enable the render view you can see so I used chat GP2 to create the textures for the jersey previously it was not possible for me to make uh, textures using Photoshop because I don't have knowledge about the Photoshop in this case I use chat GPT to create this whole texture definitely I changed a couple of things but the base jersey along with the textures text and all the logos I get from chat GPT so I will show you my prompt and what and how I proceed it I will show you everything so this jersey animation I made with marvelous designer then I import them back inside this blender and here if I will enable motion tracking I also finish 3d tracking using a blender and I created the lighting and all the etc just like I do in all the tutorials so there is <laughs> no fun to talk about this topic but the jersey process let me show you so if I will open my folder this is a final I guess the final version of the textures which I get from chat gpt how i get it the exact layout and all the you know textures with all the logo and all the other thing so here let me quickly open chat gpt don't mind my english because this is not my native language so here you can see i give some references to chat gpt and i asked them to store these images as a reference and later i provided a layout which i exported from marvelous designer this is a 2d uv layout which i guess you are familiar with so here you can see these are the layout so once i shared the pre uh, pictures i asked chat gpt to create a you know unfold image and this is the first result which i get from chat gpt so i thought this is not bad and definitely we can tweak it even more so what next i give them this layout once again and asked them to create and this is the second image you can see this is the second output i get from chat gpt which is mind blowing for me because now i don't have to go and create all the logos and all the here you can see all the textures so i also noticed some logo which is small you can get some issue with that and uh, some for the other things as well as so you have to tweak that as so here i give this again and ask them to create it so this is the third output which i get this time the brightness is too low so i give them again and you know this process keep going keep going until i just get something like this which is useful for me because here you can see all the blue lines which we actually see on the player jersey so this is really cool and uh, here you can see these are the final images which I get just like this for my second artwork I also provided the same layout here you can see all the images which I get from Google and shared that to store these images as a reference and then asked them to create the uh, UV layout and here you can see the result this looks really nice this is I use Photoshop just a bit to enhance the color and here I also fix the logo using Photoshop so I'll know a bit of Photoshop for, but for creating the whole texture like this it was painful for me so I, I decided to use chat GPT and later I use the textures inside in inside blender so let me go close and just to create a glory some kind of a you know powerful look I made this jersey uh, here you can see some kind of a metallic or glowing or glittery so here this is the base texture if I'll show you so this is the base color so let me remove all these things so this is the base color of the texture and then I used the same texture and here with the color ramp I just make it 
to you know look metallic and at the end i use the same texture here, here using color ramp and after that i use normal map and use this as a normal map so this is the end product which i get so this is just an one idea which i tried using chat gpt but then i realized we can use this method not for this only we can use some other way around and you can use chat gpt for other scenario as well as so yeah this is an artist perspective for using chat gpt and this is what i achieved so far so if you have something please share with me i will be glad to know that and yeah this is all from my side so thanks for watching this video thanks for loving me i am nps ready and i will see you next time until then keep working keep smiling bye bye and take care guys